Oracle is currently offering the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure 2025 Generative AI Professional Certification completely free through the Race to Certification 2025 program. Quick update. You will register for the program on the Race to Certification page. Once enrolled, your free exam attempt is added to your Oracle account. From there, you'll schedule your exam with Pearson View, available in both online proctored and testing center options. Here are the key facts. The certification is free until October 31st, 2025, under the Race to Certification offer. You get free digital training plus free exam attempt or attempts. The exam is multiple choice, with a 90-minute duration. The passing score is 68%. Plan your preparation around these domains. Fundamentals of Large Language Models, 20%. Using OCI Generative AI Service, 40%. Implement RAG using OCI Generative AI Service, 20%. Using OCI Generative AI RAG Service, 20%. Reinforce your skills with practice questions and explanations on certprep.io. The link is in the description. All right, question one. In OCI Generative AI, what does the Cohere ReRank 3.5 model return for a given query and list of documents? A, a list of vector embeddings for each document b. An ordered list with a relevant score and index for each document, or c. A single abstractive summary of all documents. The correct answer is b. An ordered list with a relevant score and index for each document. Here's why. Cohere ReRank 3.5 returns an ordered array assigning a relevant score and index to each input document, improving retrieval quality in RAG pipelines. Now, question two. You need fast ANN search on millions of vectors in Oracle Database 23AI with limited memory. Which vector index type is most appropriate? A, HNSW or in-memory neighbor graph, B, B-tree index on the embedding column, or C, IVF or neighbor partition vector index? The correct answer is C, IVF or neighbor partition vector index. Here's why. IVF is a partition-based index that balances recall and speed and is suitable when the index cannot be fully memory resident. HNSW is in memory and more RAM intensive. B-tree does not support vector similarity. Moving on to question three, when do you need a dedicated AI cluster in OCI Generative AI? A, only for using the ReRank API, B, for fine-tuning and hosting custom models and endpoints belonging to your tenancy, or C, whenever you call the chat API with a system prompt. The correct answer is B, for fine-tuning and hosting custom models and endpoints belonging to your tenancy. Here's why. Dedicated AI clusters are used to fine-tune models with your data and to host custom endpoints that are isolated to your tenancy. Here comes question four. Which step is required to enable deficient similarity search when storing embeddings in Oracle Database 23AI for RAG? A. Create an HNSW or IVF vector index on the embedding column. B. Enable row-level security policies on the table. Or C. Normalize tokens with a custom tokenizer before insert. The correct answer is A, create an HNSW or IVF vector index on the embedding column. Here's why. Oracle 23 AI vector search supports HNSW and IVF vector indexes to accelerate KNN similarity queries over embedding columns. Next up, question five. To reduce randomness and make model output more deterministic for production prompts, which parameter change is best? A. Increase temperature and increase top P. B. Decrease temperature and or lower top B. Or C. Disable stop sequences. The correct answer is B. Decrease temperature and or lower top P. Reduce sampling diversity, improving determinism and repeatability. Let's check out question six. Which sources can OCI Generative AI Agents RAG tool query as knowledge bases out of the box? A. Only local files mounted on the agent container. B. Oracle Object Storage. 
Oracle Database 23 AI, AI Vector Search, and OCI Search with OpenSearch. C. Exclusively third party vector DBs via private endpoints. Correct answer is B. Oracle Object Storage, Oracle Database 23 AI Vector Search, and OCI Search with OpenSearch. Here's why. Agents support Oracle Object Storage Files, Oracle Database 23AI, AI Vector Search, and OCI Search with OpenSearch as data options for Argy. Time for question 7. Which statement about AI guardrails for OCI generative AI endpoints is true? A. They primarily reduce GPU utilization and auto-scaling costs. B. They provide content moderation and help mitigate prompt injection and PII risks on inputs and outputs. C. They automatically increase the context window for long documents. Correct answer is B. They provide content moderation and help mitigate prompt injection and PII risks on both inputs and outputs. Here's why. OCI AI guardrails add safety controls such as content filters and protections against prompt injection and PII exposure for both prompts and responses. On to question 8. In RIG pipeline, which component most directly reduces token usage by filtering candidate passages before sending them to the LLM? A. Reranker. B. Embedder. C. Retriever. Correct answer is A. Reranker. Here's why. The Reranker orders candidates by relevance so you can pass fewer higher quality chunks to the LLM, lowering tokens and latency. Here's question nine. What is a primary advantage of Oracle AI vector search versus using a separate external vector DB for RAG on enterprise data? A, it only supports exact, not approximate search, which is always faster. B, it combines semantic vector search with relational queries in the same Oracle database, simplifying governance and joins, C. It eliminates the need to create any indexes for similarity search. Correct answer is B. It combines semantic vector search with relational filtering and joins in one system, easing governance and reducing integration overhead. Finally, question 10. Which tuning approach updates only a small subset of model parameters to adapt an LLM to your domain with limited compute? A. Full end-to-end -end fine tuning. B. Parameter efficient fine tuning, e.g. LoRa or adapters. C. Prompt only tuning with higher temperature. Correct answer is B. Parameter efficient fine tuning, e.g. LoRa or adapters. Here's why. PEFT methods like LoRa adapt an LLM by training small adapter layers or low-rank matrices, drastically reducing compute and data needs compared to full fine-tuning. Thanks for watching. Ready to earn your generative AI professional certification for free? Head over to certprep.io to access free practice questions and exam prep resources. And remember, in this video, we'll go through 10 practice questions together.